a stupid son of a bitch. Several FBI agents had arrived at Cuellar's home in Laredo. Nina Turner has announced that she will be indeed running for Congress once again. Now, I'm sure that you've heard about the Don't Say Gay bill that has been proposed in Florida. There's no such thing as climate, right? Spotify lost $4 billion in market value. Yes, that's billion with a B, following the announcement of artists like Neil Young and Joni Mitchell, stating that they want to pull their songs from the platform because they don't want to share the same platform with someone like Joe Rogan, who's spreading deadly anti-vaccine misinformation information during a pandemic. If there's anything that I've done that I could do better is uh, have more experts with differing opinions. We see almost a nationwide effort in different states controlled by Republicans to get a ton of books banned. They had a no-knock warrant and they enter the home where he was sleeping and nine seconds later, he was dead. I will take it all off the table. Well over a thousand people lining the Trans-Canada Highway outside of Winnipeg in minus 30 wind chills. Her organization was trying to get people to put pressure on lawmakers so they send fake electors to the Electoral College so they can subvert the will of voters. The governor of Texas has officially directed the state's Family and Protective Services to begin investigating all trans children in Texas. I don't feel as if people in Texas who have trans children are safe. Russia launched a full-scale attack on Ukraine. Attacks have been reported in all parts of Ukraine. We've now sanctioned Russian banks. About a thousand Russians who are protesting this war have been arrested. The fate of all of humanity will largely be determined by a few world leaders and one madman whose behavior defies all reason and logic. He has the capability of ending all life on Earth unilaterally. Many of you have been there. I've been in and out of Iraq and Afghanistan over 40 times. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change just released a new 3,500 page report. And in essence, it concludes that we are essentially doomed. Get your fucking ass up and work. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I never thought leopards would eat my face, sobs man who voted for the leopards eating people's faces party. Is it your personal hidden agenda to incorporate critical race theory? What, what did you just ask me to come to? Yeah. And then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy. That right there was the moment when Amazon warehouse workers in Staten Island found out that they won and they successfully voted to form a union. And how could you not be happy for them? I was put on blast by JK Rowling and they endorsed Chantel Brown over Nina Turner. Some teachers pushing sex values on your third grader? Why are you going to thrash the teacher? And I know that hate will only win if people like me stand by and let it happen. We will not let hate win. He chose to use his wealth to buy Twitter. This account has influenced public policy and has harassed, like actually bragged about getting LGBTQ plus teachers fired from their jobs. So you don't get to hide behind anonymity while you terrorize other people. Supreme Court has voted to overturn abortion rights. Draft opinion shows it's been called for Chantel Brown. The decision of one man to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq, I mean of Ukraine. They said we were espousing something called the Great Replacement Theory, a well-known racist fantasy. One white supremacist decided to take action over this particular issue that's been talked about on Fox News, and he committed a massacre in Buffalo. Another mass shooting has happened in the United States of America, this time at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. Did you feel abandoned in that moment by police, by the people who are supposed to protect you? Absolutely. You have a bulletproof vest. I had nothing. And Trump asked us to come. He personally asked for us to come to D.C. that day. It is now abundantly clear that January 6th would not have happened had it not been for Donald Trump inciting it. How much did you know about what your chief of staff was doing with the alternate slates of abductors? Some of these same Republican members requested pardons in the waning days of the Trump administration. Roe v. Wade has been overturned by the Supreme Court. For the first time in the history of the Supreme Court, they have taken away a fundamental constitutional right. President Trump tried to call a witness in our investigation. 
Fourth of July weekend started with 100 masked white supremacists from the group Patriot Front marching through Boston, and it ended with hundreds of Americans running for their lives following reports of an active shooter at Ben Franklin Parkway in Philadelphia. Another mass shooting happened at a Fourth of July parade in Highland Park, Illinois, where six people were killed and 38 were injured. The suspect, Bobby Crimo, reportedly planned this attack for weeks. 90 shots were fired by police, and 60 of them hit Jalen. The reason Robert Primo is still alive and Jalen Walker is dead is structural anti-blackness. Hey, Maymet! 190 Republicans voted against the right to contraception. They also voted against same-sex marriage in the House. Representative Matt Gates was among the 20 House Republicans who voted on Tuesday against a bill that seeks to combat human trafficking. The women with the least likelihood of getting pregnant are the ones most worried about having abortions. Nobody wants to impregnate you if you look like a thumb. I was woken up by London Police Services pointing an assault rifle in my face. You don't support the troops. You support the war machine. What the fuck are we? And that is how I know you lied to me when you said you didn't have text messages about Sandy Hook. He pretended to cry all day. Things somehow got even more bizarre when Marjorie Taylor Greene showed up. Maybe we begin at Boston Children's Hospital. Boston Children's Hospital says its staff is being threatened and harassed now after far-right activists on social media posted misinformation. Is this unfair to people who paid their student loans or chose not to take out loans? Is it fair to people who, in fact, uh, do not own multi-billion dollar businesses to see why these guys get them all tax Is that fair? They shouldn't have to pay off the great big student loan debt for, for some college student that piled up massive debt going to some Ivy League school. That's not fair. Let's check the status of her $182,300 PPP loan for her construction business, Taylor Commercial Inc. Looks like the status of that loan in its entirety was forgiven. Tens of millions of citizens have been displaced as a result of flooding. We're looking at a humanitarian disaster on a massive scale. We are engaged. Yeah, there it is, right there. Yeah, look at that. See that? And it's better to be able to go to a sanctuary jurisdiction. And yes, we will help facilitate that transport for you to be able to go to greener pastures. Trans rights are human rights! Trans rights are human rights! Trans rights are human rights! Fascism has returned to Italy. Did you speak with your husband about your beliefs of the election being stolen? Call it crackhead. Cannot claim to hold progressive values, yet back Israel's apartheid government. It's outrageous that Rashida Tlaib is getting attacked. They fired her because of this. Don't lie about your life. Join me in leaving the Democratic Party. She works at a school that had to install a litter box. Total $120 million. The money you donate does not go to these people. I am work with many police officers. Issuing a subpoena to a former president is no small thing. There were multiple people who were flipping him off. Fuck you! Paul Pelosi is currently in the ICU fighting for his life after suffering blunt force trauma to his head. After losing the election last night, Jair Bolsonaro apparently isolated himself in the presidential palace. I am resigning. Crackdown in Iran, evidence of abuses could later be used in court. Advertisers have fled the platform following a surge in racial slurs. Turned out that the red wave was more of a red trickle. A Trump appointed U.S. District Court judge has blocked Joe Biden's student debt relief program. In order to make America great and glorious again, I am tonight announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. I will not seek re-election. Why did Anderson Lee Aldrich shoot 30 people? And the truth is, we don't know. What are we going to do now? My family was in there. And he's not gay, so it's like this. So Trump is really impressed with Nick Fuentes. I Who was they, though? We can't say who they is, can we? Press. Are you leaving? So this is significant. A majority of workers said no to this tentative deal that was brokered by the Biden administration. Frustration is hitting a boiling point for many Chinese citizens this week. There's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. Nazis surrounded a drag show in Lakeland, Florida. This is going to continue to happen. Queer spaces are going to be intimidated and harassed increasingly by right-wing militias and Nazis. They were Sig Heiling and they made their message very clear. 